Hello, Unitarian Universalist Congregation of the Hudson Valley. I'm Susan Frederick Gray, President of the Unitarian Universalist Association. I have had the great fortune to be in conversation with your board president, Jack Bergman, and minister, Reverend Jane Thixton, and I am inspired by the incredible vision that you at UUCHV are embracing through your project, Hudson Valley, Building a Future That Counts Campaign. I'm grateful and encouraged by the boldness, generosity, and commitment you are showing for your congregation, for each other, and for this life-saving, life-affirming faith of Unitarian Universalism. I want to share with you a story about one of the most important times in my ministry. It was a time when I was called to work with a congregation that had been stuck for many years. They had difficulties with ministers and challenges among members, and they were struggling with an aging building that was a barrier to their ministry. These challenges diminished the spirit of the congregation, and they found themselves frequently stuck in reoccurring conversations about their future that seemed to go in circles. But then something began to change. Something began to shift, and it started when a lay leader began asking a question. He asked, what would happen if our congregation simply disappeared? Would it make any difference? Would anyone even notice? Now, this is a powerful question, for if the answer to this question was no, it would not make a difference, then what was the purpose of the congregation? So with the challenge that this question offered, this congregation that had struggled so long realized that it had a larger purpose and needed to get to it. As one lay leader said, we realized we needed to do this community thing better. We needed to be a stronger and healthier, more vital congregation because it does matter. And not just to us. Our presence in the wider community matters. So with this sense of purpose, they created a strategic plan aimed at congregational health and vitality. They had a vision of growth, but just like you. This growth wasn't just about numbers. It was about growing the outreach of the congregation and nurturing a dynamic, mission-driven community that would welcome diverse people looking to connect and grow in their spiritual lives and in the practice of beloved community. This sense of purpose, this shared commitment to what was possible and needed, sparked a bold, creative, and brave spirit in this once stuck congregation. A spirit that led that congregation to greater health and growth in numbers, yes, but more importantly, in a larger impact in the lives of their own members, visitors, and the wider community. It also led to capital campaigns, just like you are embarking on today. Friends, our congregations matter. They are needed for our congregations. Your congregation is a life-saving, life-affirming, life-changing community. And this spirit that you all are embodying a spirit of faithful risk-taking, of courage and imagination is so critical now because our progressive religious voice, grounded in community and living the values of love and justice is needed especially now in this time. Throughout my first year as president, two things have become clear to me. Number one, this is no time for a casual faith. And number two, this is no time to go it alone. And mission is where these two things come together because the opposite of casual is a sense of purpose that recognizes how much our congregations matter. And when we put that big, bold mission of changing lives and impacting our community before us, we know we can't get there alone. We need each other. And I see you all at UUCHV embracing a missional commitment both within and beyond your walls through the work you have been doing to imagine your ministry in a new location, one that can be a vital, accessible home for your growing, diverse community. 
And I also see it in the way that you are unlocking greater generosity, investing in the fullness of who you can be and who you are called to be together. You are showing faith in each other. You are honoring all those who came before you and nurtured the community and building that you now enjoy. And you are doing your part to see the legacy and power of Unitarian Universalism in the Hudson Valley continue for the generations that will come after you. As UUA president, I know that your strength your willingness to be bold and brave for this faith makes our whole faith stronger. It makes me stronger. It encourages and inspires me as well as your sibling congregations. So I will be carrying your spirit with me and following your story as it continues to unfold. And I want to thank you more than anything for your commitment to the mission of your congregation, for your generosity and commitment to one another as a community of love and hope, and for your commitment to the UUA, which serves our congregations all across the country. Thank you to your board for your incredibly hard work. Indeed, these times are calling for all of our congregations, for all of us as Unitarian Universalists to recover our prophetic zeal and our great historic mission to nurture the possibility and the practice of our humanity and beloved community. We need one another in this time, and I am grateful to be with you in this time of our faith. And I and all of our UU congregations across the country, we are with you and we are rooting you on. I want to end with a blessing for all of you as you take the next step on your journey of building a future that counts. May the spiritual community that you practice strengthen your hearts and give you courage. May we all find ways that we are called to make a difference in our own lives and in the lives of others. May we not be silent or shrink back from the demands of love. And may we hold one another tenderly and faithfully as we unlock new pathways of joy and community, of risk and of mission. Many blessings to you on your journey and I will be following you. Blessed be.